Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz, along with uh, nothing. Subscribe to TYT Sports, dick. I think the bullpen snafu, while funny, is actually less significant than the two hits and runs uh, executed in the seventh inning, or poorly executed in the seventh and ninth inning with Alan Craig on first base and Albert Pujols up. Now we're hearing that Albert Pujols put both of those on. I thought initially when that it was clearly a hit and run in the seventh inning just by the way Pujols looked after he didn't swing at Alexi Ogando's pitch, which was high and outside and probably couldn't really have made contact on. Why he didn't make an attempt is puzzling. Alan Craig thrown out very easily by Mike Napoli. The one in the ninth inning, actually more indefensible to me. When you're down 4-2, Alan Craig gets a leadoff walk. You got Pujols, Holiday, and Berkman coming. Did you just say leadoff walk? Yeah, leadoff walk. Like cool whip. <laughs> yeah, after the leadoff walk, and you got Pujols, Holiday, and Berkman. And then what I'm not buying about Pujols putting it on in the ninth inning, although I'm reading from the great writer, great columnist for the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, Bernie Miklas, that unquestionably Pujols did call it, then why didn't LaRusa call it off? Because if he's running 3-2, nobody out, Pujols fouled a couple of balls off. So we saw it happen the first time. And if LaRusa thought it was a terrible idea, then I think scream, no, it's off, you stay there. But he didn't. So. I don't see how Pujols gets full credit for calling this. You got to step up, man. Jose Okendo's got to come down and be like, yeah, yeah, Albert, I know we've given you permission, as we're reading now, that Pujols has permission to call his own hit and runs. But in that situation, then, you got to step in and call that off. You're down 4-2. What's the point? LaRusso talking about he wanted Pujols when he was initially defending it before he revealed that Pujols did it, because Pujols apparently admitted to the press himself and LaRusso was trying to protect him. This is the crazy cockamamie story we're led to believe that got buried behind the bullpen story that Pujols, that Lewis thought, well, Pujols will stay out of the double play, punch it into right field. Pujols, not punch it into right field. And don't worry about staying out of the double play. And don't give me nonsense about Pujols being a contact hitter. It's Neftali Fleas out there, man. He's throwing 99 miles an hour. You can strike anybody out. You strike Tony Gwynn out. You strike Wade Boggs out. You don't hit and run. And a hit and run is a one-run strategy. You're down two. And, of course, Pujols struck out because it's Neftali Feliz and he's throwing 99 miles an hour. And then you don't have Holiday and Berkman with opportunities to tie the game. I, it, was, it was monstrously dumb baseball. And if it's all on Pujols, and again, Larusa needed to call it off after that first foul ball. But if it's all on Pujols, well, then Albert Pujols made has made three in a game where he hit three home runs and where he is sort of unquestionably maybe the greatest right-handed hitter ever or in the last 50 years. His error in game two was uh, crippling, not cutting the ball off, letting the ball deflect uh, that led to the Rangers getting two in the ninth. And then both these hit and run plays in the seventh inning was, I think, defendable but foolish because you're Albert Pujols and you're just going to get yourself walked. Um, or you're just, again, yes, you're staying out of the double play. If he steals the base, you're going to get walked. But he's stolen five bases in his whole career. Yeah, but he didn't play all the time. He's 5-0. and oh. He's a guy capable of stealing a base. But the idea is not to steal the base. It's the hit and run. But what you want Albert Pujols to do is wait until he gets a pitch he can drive. So that was, to me, a foolish decision, but one that I guess you can shrug your shoulders and live with. The ninth inning made no sense and shows a complete lack of understanding about what would be necessary for the Cardinals to get the two runs to tie that game up in the ninth inning. It was whether... Tony La Russa's managing, or in that situation, Albert Pujols is managing. It was an insanely stupid decision. Massively dumb, and I don't understand it. And if it's on Pujols, although La Russa didn't call it off, that's two games where Pujols' boneheaded plays contributed significantly to the Cardinals losing or made victory far more difficult at the very least. And for such a great player who hit three home runs in game three, uh, you, you got to point out th these were these were games that showed that you don't understand the best way or to maximize your potential to score runs. Uh, and I find it weird, and the whole story is weird, and I think we're going to find out more about exactly what happened and what's going on after the season because these were puzzling things that I can't imagine seeing. Now, that I've never seen before, and I was stunned to see that time, it is impossible not to root for Ron Washington and his little... The wash. The little wash. It's so good. It's impossible not to root for him. 
And I just want to say, as a lifelong Oakland A's fan, I am so glad that after the 2006 season, when we had an opportunity to hire a new manager for 2007, and it came down to Ron Washington, our third base coach, or Bob Guerin, that we went with Bob Guerin. Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz, along with Rookie Mankiewicz, and Rookie has an important message for you. Subscribe to TYT Sports.